Hello, people of the internet. So basically, some accusations were made against James Charles. One of the accusations made on JC was that he was into straight guys. This all started, guys, from Tatty Westbrook complaining about James Charles using her competitor's brand. I mean, I've never seen something so ridiculous, to be honest. I mean, and then there's accusations coming across saying James Charles is into straight guys. I mean, do I really care? Do we really care that James Charles is into straight guys? Not particularly. It's not really a big issue, is it? Unless he was harassing them in a way, then yes, that would be a big issue. We will be reviewing a bit of James Charles for the video and seeing how apologetic he really is. Hi all, James here. Um, I'm currently traveling abroad and just woke up, but I wanted to sit down and make a video addressing everything that's going on right now. Um, because I owe, everybody, I owe everybody an explanation, um, but most importantly I owe two important people um, an apology, knowing that I disappointed not only really them, but most importantly, two people that have been role models to me doing this. Um, I wish that I could say this is the last time that I would make a mistake, but it won't be. Mom, I need you to know that you're the most important person in my life and that you're an amazing mother. So basically after that part, you know, James Charles cries a little bit when he brings up his mum. People are thinking that he's not really apologetic towards Tati, but in reality he kind of is apologetic to Tati because he wouldn't make that video, would he? The next one goes more into detail, right? So basically he's talking about how he had no tickets to get into Coachella, and this one is even more surprising because he's actually exposing people. Then he had to get Sugar Daddy. Oh god. <laughs> Then he had to get Sugar Bear here to get him an artist ticket for the first day or the second day. And then basically, yeah, Tati got a bit annoyed by that and she got a little bit jelly and then he, she started a controversy with James Charles over the internet. And if you guys don't know, right, one thing you never do as a YouTuber is start beef on the internet. Yes, it can give you popularity and fame and money, but it can also ruin your friendship. One week ago, I uploaded a video to my YouTube channel titled Tati. This video was a direct response to the video that Tati Westbrook uploaded to her channel titled By Sister. Before I say anything at all in this video, I want to make it very, very clear that everything I said in that video in regards to my sentiments towards Tati and my apology, I stand behind 100% and still reign true. VIP, although VIP, is still very, very open to the public. Artist passes, however, are passes that you cannot buy. The only way you can get a hold of them is through a brand getting them from the actual festival or through having a personal connection to one of the artists or bands that are playing. The last phone conversation that James Charles and I had, he said some things telling me about a situation that happened in Seattle at my birthday and it literally made me want to vomit. Oh my God, you tried to trick a straight man into thinking he's gay yet again. First of all, I'm a 19 year old virgin. I talk about boys quite a lot on my social media networks. Clearly at this point, it is not acceptable anymore. We're talking about that in a little bit, I promise you. Um, but just thought I would bring it up, put it out into the universe. I don't really get a lot of action. We have probably guessed this at this point. So that being said, I have never, and would never, and will never use my fame, money, or power to manipulate or get any sexual actions from a guy. I mean, arguing over your competitor's brand, I mean, what? Yes, partner up with a friend, but like, on honestly, there's so many good brands out there these days. I use conditioner, which is a brand for my hair. I mean, I use different ones, you know? I mean, you gotta look sexy, you know? You gotta look sexy. So basically, uh, Mr. Star, no, we're not talking about Patrick Star here. We're talking about Jeffree Star. Just Jeffrey, you're a gay person as well, and you were actually sneaking on straight boys as well because we all know that Nate, your boyfriend, is actually straight, but he only goes out with you because you look like a female. I've heard, I've seen it in one of your videos. I can't find it. I think you deleted it, but basically Nate actually fancied you because uh, you look like a female. Hello, everybody. The 
Last few weeks in the beauty community and in some of our personal lives have been very insane. Before fully accusing an individual of doing anything, I need more facts. And I also really need to get something off my chest. James Charles' brother, Ian, um, I sent a very mean tweet to him when I fully didn't understand what he was even referring to. And that's the problem with the internet. We take things personally. We're selfish people. We see things and, and you just think, oh, that's about me. Because you already had a situation with someone, so you just think that that's about me. So Jeffree Star, right? He's saying that things are getting dangerous and not safe, in other words, yeah? Uh, Basically, Jeff, you are the one who started this beef, right? You started all this controversy over James Charles liking straight guys. How the hell has that got to do with the Tati Westbrook situation? That's the last thing I'm going to play of this video because obviously Jeffrey is taking a few days off of social media. Gotta hand it to you, Jeff. You are actually taking the right steps here. Anyway, guys, it seems that everything's been sorted in the beauty community. I, I'm not, probably not gonna make any more videos on this because what's the point when everything's been sorted? Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below. Also, don't forget to turn your post notifications on to receive more notifications of my future videos. Anyway, guys, peace out, stay awesome, have a great day. Also, don't forget to check out my buddies' channels down below because uh, they're doing very, very well. Alright, see you guys. Bye.